Okay, this is a little video here on how you can help figure out what size carburetor you need. Basically, um, there's a very simple formula. It's the total displacement of your engine, all right, is the first part you need to know, and also the maximum RPMs you're going to be running your engine at. If you don't know the displacement of your engine, there's an easy way to convert it, all right, into cubic inches, all right, or actually find the accurate number. Basically, when you have a cylinder in your engine, you have the bore and stroke. The bore is basically, in a sense, the width of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder is the stroke. The formula is you multiply your bore by one half and then you square that answer. You multiply it by pi, then you multiply it by your stroke and you get the volume of one cylinder in your engine. You take that, you multiply it by the total number of cylinders you have. So if it's a six cylinder, it would be by six. If you have an eight cylinder, it would be by eight. That is your total displacement in cubic inches. You take that and you multiply it by your maximum RPM. But let's say you don't know uh, the, the measurements of your engine in cubic inches. You have a metric engine, all right? Well, you can just take the bore and stroke in millimeters or centimeters or whatever it is and convert it easily over to inches. All you got to do is, you know, if it's centimeters, divide by 2.54. If it's millimeters, just divide by 10 before or after you divide by 2.54. All right, now if you already know the volume of your engine in liters or, you know, uh, cubic centimeters, all right, all you got to do is multiply it when it's in a liter. Um, you know, basically you just take the centimeters, divide by 1,000, you're going to get one liter. All right, um, is to multiply it by 61.02374. Now, I memorized that number back when I was in high school, so I'm never going to forget it. It's a pretty cool number. All right, but anyway... So if it's something like a 2 liter, it would just be 2 times 61.02374. A little more accurate, let's say 1,999 all right, cc's or milliliters. You take that and you just got to divide it by 1,000. So it's a 1.999 multiplied by 61.02374. Anyway, like I was saying, once you got a certain amount of displacement, you want to multiply it by your maximum RPM. All right, the maximum RPM you're going to be revving your engine. All right, many times that would be the red line. All right, so you multiply it by that, and then you're going to multiply it by a factor. If it's a street engine that isn't going to be pushed too hard, all right, maybe you can multiply it by 0.8 or 80% because it doesn't really have that great of volume efficiency, and it's never really going to be used that much. All right, if you have a racing engine, you might want to multiply it by a factor of 1.1, or in other words, 110%, because you're going to need as much air as you possibly can. Once you got that number, it's going to be a very big number. All right, and then you're just going to divide it by... 3456, how easy can it be? That's 3,456, and you're going to get the CFM your engine's going to require in its carburetor. All right, and it's probably going to be a very, very odd number, 639, 800 something, you know, whatever. But we do have carburetors, you know, like 750s, 850s, and stuff like that, so you can figure out which is going to be better for your vehicle. And that's basically how you figure out how much air your engine's going to need. Take care.